Gary Cooper, one of his generation's most celebrated actors, died of prostate cancer on May 14, 1961. His death marked the end of an era in Hollywood, as he was a crucial figure during the golden age of American cinema. He was only 60 years old when he died. When he was diagnosed with cancer in April 1960, it had already spread to his colon, and he underwent surgery at a Boston hospital. Unfortunately, cancer had spread to his lungs and bones, and Cooper's health rapidly deteriorated despite his doctor's best efforts. In February 1961, just a few months before his passing, Cooper received the news that his illness was terminal. Knowing that he had little time left, he spent his final months surrounded by his loved ones. Cooper had made a name for himself in Hollywood over the course of three decades. He started his career in the silent film era of the 1920s, and his rise to fame coincided with the advent of sound in movies. His notable films include High Noon, The Pride of the Yankees, and Sergeant York, among many others. Cooper's talent and hard work were rewarded with numerous accolades throughout his career, including two Academy Awards for Best Actor. Cooper's funeral was held on May 16, 1961, at the Sacred Heart Church in Beverly Hills, California. Monsignor James Francis McIntyre, Archbishop of Los Angeles, presided over the service, which was attended by over 1,500 people, including some of Hollywood's biggest stars, including John Wayne, Frank Sinatra, Marlena Dietrich, Dean Martin, Jimmy Stewart, Henry Fonda, and Rock Hudson. Cooper's body was taken to the Sacred Heart Cemetery in Southampton, New York, after the service, and he was laid to rest in a simple, white marble grave marked with his name and the dates of his birth and death. Cooper's grave is located on a hill overlooking Shinnecock Bay, in a peaceful, shaded area surrounded by trees and flowers. If you have any comments about Gary Cooper's life or legacy, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.